please welcome on stage the project lead for digitalization in motion control, Michael Leipold. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome to SPS Fair. I'm really happy to have the chance to talk to you folks about this topic, which is of course of so much importance. Why is that? I mean, we just saw a very interesting and intriguing movie on how digitalization affects every part of the value chain across uh, these um, offerings for food and beverage. But one thing that this movie did not answer really is how do we get these data? How do we get the data from the field devices, from uh, the drivetrain to Mindsphere? And what can we do with the data collected there in the first step? And that really brings about the starting point of each and every presentation that I give. It's about the value chain. And also for the drivetrain, the underlying motivation, the underlying logic is always based on this value chain. We always have our customers, let it be machine builders and machine users alike in focus. It's Digitalization is not a self-fulfilling pro uh, prophecy. Digitalization is about answering the questions of our customers. And as I said, today I want to, in this presentation, I want to focus on how we get the data out of the drivetrain into Mindsphere and what we can do with that. Before I do that, let me quickly have a look at something that's really, really important for me. Because these days, we talk about digitalization, um, various buzzwords, let's call it buzzwords, um, sorry for that pejorative connotation, come into mind. If we talk about uh, digitalization, what is your favorite buzzword? Okay, I'll help you. Artificial intelligence. And your favorite buzzword? Right, predictive maintenance. Before we do that, before we do that, we should do in a first step our homework, let's call it, the, the basic work. Know your data. If we collect data, we need to understand the data. We basically need to be able to answer the question, where am I? This is transparency. It's about understanding where you are. The next step is analyzing the data. And with this analytics, we are basically in the position to be answered, why are we where we are? And it's only then that we want to address the predictive part, the, um, the view into the future to see what will happen next. The things, sorry, should have put that up, it would have been easier to understand. The things that I'm going to show you now will focus on transparency and analytics. If we want to get these data that I just referred to, if we want to generate transparency, what do we need? We need Mindsphere. Why is that? Of course, you could store your data somewhere in your own infrastructure. You could do that as a machine operator, all for your own. But you would also have to address all these topics like security, of setting up an infrastructure all by yourself. But why would you want to do that if there is a solution like Mindsphere, the open IoT infrastructure and, and operating system at hand? I mean, the benefits are, are clear. You don't have to uh, set this up. You don't have to... Um, to make sure that the security of your data, which is the underlying, the, the basis for your business, are secured uh, and not subject to tampering of others. Having said that, how do we get the data there to Mindsphere? How can we accomplish that? And one thing I want to show you uh, today is Synamics Connect 300, an all new offering. Um, for, for the drivetrain in order to connect the drivetrain to Mindsphere. I can see it in your eyes. You are asking yourself, 
why the heck is he talking about Synamics Connect if there's Mind Connect? That's a very good question. The thing is, Mind Connect, of course, is an offering by Siemens connecting all your field devices to MindSphere in a standardized and very reliable and established way. However, drives, again, are very specific. When we talked to, to OEMs, they said, listen, it's really nice, but I really don't want to get all the data, collect all the data via the machine bus or via the PLC, because you know, the PLC, it has its tasks, the machine bu bus has its tasks. Why can't we get the data from the drivetrain somewhere else? And this is basically the answer. Of course, you still could connect to your drive through the given Mind Connect architecture. You could uh, talk to the drive utilizing S7 parameter services, pull these data into your PLC or another IPC, and directly push them to, to MindSphere, for example, with a Symmatic S7 1500, or just forward the data, the relevant data you're interested in. Uh, via an IoT a gateway like MindConnect Nano or MindConnect IoT 2040. Synamics Connect 300 will do this directly. The good thing is we basically um, taught uh, IoT 2040 how to speak Synamics. So there is no deviation. Data are directly being pulled from the drive to MindSphere. Not only one drive, but up to eight drives can be connected directly to forward your data to give you the, the, the chance, the opportunity to have all your relevant drive trains in the MindSphere at a glance. To be able to do display relevant data uh, of the drive train um, so you get a better understanding of the status of how your drivetrain is feeling. So putting it in a nutshell, the benefits of Synamics Connect are manifold. We are able to connect to the drive and the drive to MindSphere without utilizing a seven parameter services. We do address machine users with brownfield installations. Why is that? Because you can connect um, Synamics Connect directly to the drive without having to change the hardware, without having to change parameters, software, or the firmware. You just plug and play. This, of course, is a big advantage to address brownfield in installations where you basically just insert that additional device and you're ready to go to connect the drive chain to MindSphere. We are keeping all the data off the field bus, no extra load on the field bus, so we can make sure that operations of the man, uh, machine are not influenced in a bad way. And, of course, another upside which we are very, very proud of is we have a minimum effort of installation and commissioning of Synamics Connect 300 because we basically achieved to do a plug-and-play connectivity. When connecting a Synamics drive to Synamics Connect 300, the two devices do a handshake and a default set of parameters that are being pulled and a sample cycle time are then being automatically um, configured and you're ready to send the data to MindSphere. What do we do now with this data in MindSphere? And for that, this is the second offering, our MindSphere application, Analyze My Drives. Analyze My Drives enables you to display all relevant data that you pulled from the drive at a, at a glance in MindSphere. It's a visualization of all connected assets. You're able to display all relevant values in time series. You're able to monitor thresholds and issue notifications automatically. Whenever a threshold is being overshot, then an email can be sent out to a defined, predefined number of recipients. By that, giving the users, the machine users, the chance to 
very quickly see that something's wrong with the machine. By that, we are basically enabling the drivetrain as a powerful additional sensor in the overall machine digitalization approach. One item, one feature that I want to um, point out separately here is the possibility to have scatter plots. Unlike in other MindSphere applications, we are now able to have two correlated variables at one glance. And by that, we are able to, let's say, in a application example of a pump, identify or monitor torque and speed at the same time, and by that get a better idea of outliers. So, um, operator of a pump might see, well, the torque is much higher than it should be at this speed, so probably my pump needs to be cleaned, something is blocked in there. This example brings about some very specific application example that I want to share with you. Another innovation at our drive yard over there is uh, our new drive, Synamics G120X, um, which is a drive specifically for infrastructure industries. And there, we also have a very a striking example of how you can put both innovations to use at your customer uh, on display. There we connected G120X via Synamics Connect to the MindSphere, and by that we are able to address the requirements of this very industry. For pumping applications, you have to deal with remote locations. And Synamics Connect will enable you to also immediately understand the status of that installation, even if far away, via the connection through MindSphere. All in all, by that we are addressing the underlying motivation of machine builders and machine operators. And this is what digitalization at the end of the day is about. We want to enable you to achieve a higher machine utilization. By that, improve your productivity and efficiency. And we are already today in the position to say, yes, we are on the right track for doing so, because first customer experiences and first customer showcases have proven us right, where we could show that we were able, with that approach, to lower out times, um, down times of installations. As you can see, there's so much to talk about in this very use case, and um, the time is over, I see. Christine is already pushing, as always. So why don't you all come over to our drives yard, where we are very much looking forward to welcoming you, to answering your questions around drivetrain technology, presenting you the all new G120X infrastructure drive, and how we connect it with Synamics Connect 300 to MindSphere. Thank you so much for your interest and your time. Thank you.